Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa here in the city of New Zealand. So today we're going to be doing some fixing. There's some issues that we've got in our city that I want to take a hold of, that I want to sort out before they get into being problems that are huge and even more difficult to solve and would take copious amounts of tea. Um, but I think we can get a hold of these and sort them out today. One of them being the moving of our farm. So we started off building in this area and the first uh, industry normally that's available to you is farming. So we put a farming area down here and it's sort of being encroached now by the industry that's all along the side of our river sort of area here, our seafront. So I want to move it from there over to back here behind the area that we were building and i've got a little trick in mind that i'm hoping is going to work and not cause any problems and then depending on how much time we've got i want to do a load of detailing and some other fixes as well so we're going to try and do as much as we can today so let me just show you what i was thinking here so yeah we've got green tea fields farm oh look what a surprise the ui thing has moved um, and that takes up, let's have a look, that takes up about this much space, it doesn't need to, I don't know why it overhangs over there, but this much space here, and I want to move it to over here, so if we put our resources on, we can see there's enough space in here, I think we can do that. Now, what I'm going to do, because of the issue at the moment with 81 tile mod, uh, we've got to the point now where we can unlock all the tiles. So rather than unlock them one at a time and the issue with our Metro, which we've seen before, where we're now hit with that bug where every time we unlock a tile, it drops down all our Metro <laughs> tunnels, like two meters, then two meters, then two meters. I'm just going to unlock all the squares in one go. We're going to take the little performance hit because I'm pretty sure my PC can handle it. And then if there's any broken Metros, then we can fix them. And then that will be the end of that problem. So let me just do that. And I'll be back with you. So just to remind you, we've already hit Megalopolopolis. Let's reload that page there, which means we can unlock everything. So if I go into my game settings options, here we go. 81 tiles. Unlock all tiles for free. Money is no object at the moment anyway, so I will do that. And there we go. All of them are unlocked. A load over here that we didn't really need to unlock, but they're all done in one go, which is fantastic. So I'm very pleased. Cool. So let us see what we can do with this little zone over here. Let's go back into our natural resort. That is not the view I want. Thank you very much. Let's go back into our natural resources over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in a little bit more so we can really get this uh, looking like a good farming area. So we're going to take our fertile land and we're going to paint that in there. Mm. Come on. I'll tell you, maybe we need to take that out. Aha, there we go. So we'll take out any oil that's in this area. We don't want any oil and we're going to take out any ore which is around here as well. Don't need any of that. And then we can just paint a bit more of this in to make it a little bit bigger. Excellent. Now, what I don't want to do is just move all the items, start a new zone, and lose the fact that we are at three stars already. Uh, look at that. We're importing a lot of crops, so we need to do some work here, folks. Um, so what I'm hoping I can do is the old trick um let's have a look here so that university doesn't need to be connected here anymore it will still if i do that yeah they still count as the same university so if we just trim this back zip and then we'll get rid of that going over there uh, that comes all the way around here doesn't need to do that that can just go there excellent so then i'm going to do the same trick over here with our industry area and i'm going to bring that over the top around here Boop. there we go if we turn ground resources on and then all of this is going to be our new farming area mm. there we go green tea fields farm and if we disconnect that that is still the same area as this one over here even though it's disconnected so we just get rid of all of this zippity doo dah back to there so what i'm hoping is that as we move these items over it's not going to cause any problems because let's just have a look what have we got here so we've got access to the railway line which is fantastic uh road access oh by the way <laughs> while i think of it we built this park though didn't we a few episodes back loads of people saying why didn't you just connect it to this road here 
Uh, I wanted this highway to have access to this road. I could have just gone bloop, bloop, connected it to there. Um, I could have done, but I don't know whether this one is going to stay. I don't think I mentioned that uh, in the last episode. It is huge for what it does. It looks nice, um, but you have to sort of put roundabouts on it in certain places. And once a load of traffic starts going through it, yeah, so that may go. That was the reason why. Um, so where are we? Over here. So I'm thinking maybe a road off of here would be good. Oh, that's like a blimmin' highway again, isn't it? Um, let me put some thought into this one second. Okay, so that junction is going to work fine on there, but that now means that we have a connection here and also we have a connection on the other side. So we just grab that road there and let's just see how this is going to connect. Just about got enough space. I'm going to move that node round a little bit, hopefully in between those two. Let's just grab that again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, mind the rock and then if we just slope that down like that okay we'll just move this down to ground level uh control h same height as that one there excellent and then we can just connect those two up and that will be good for this side mm -mm -mm. there we go there we go excellent so that's got a connection at both ends of this section here which is fantastic and now we can come over here into our farm uh, let's have a look i was thinking of using this road here let's have a look at the node oh almost in the middle let's just shiftify that round a tiny bit there we go only want it in the middle for my own my own benefit um let's go at uh, now what have we got here we've got the railway line here so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down there we go and then we're going to curve over the top let's put this back on let's just pause a sec and that's going to come into this area let's go like that and then we're going to drop this railway line down so we use the move it mod we'll get those two Let's go down like that, and then we'll get the next two out. We'll go down a little bit, and that should be... Ignore the blue there. That should be enough slope to get underneath. Yep, that's fine. Have we got any interesting bridges we could use across there? So we've got the new American four-lane truss bridge, which I think would fit in well. Uh, we just need to get... So I want that node there, and then this node here. Let's put on snapping. I want it to there. Not sure whether that's going to be big enough to do this whoa, to do this bridge justice. Let's find out. So I'll we'll upgrade that bit in the middle. Ah. Um, yeah, it's such a small span <laughs> that, yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. That's a six lane. That's a six lane. What about this one? Let's just try that one. Now it's so small, isn't it? Let's just move these back a little bit. Do you know what? On this occasion, I just think the normal elevated version of this road will fit in fine. But anyway, now we've got into this area up here. So this at the front here, um, in fact, let's just... Where's this road going to go? So we've got train access here. We've also got train access at the back. And I think keeping our train cargo away from anything else that's going on here might be a good idea so i think we're just going to bring that to the end we may end up with some sort of roundabout there and then we're also going to come off of here 
which is going to give us a T junction, which again may change into a roundabout. Yeah, let's go there. So I'd like a cargo train station at the back here. So what have we got? What have we got? That is about that size. That would work perfectly well. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's going to fit in nicely there. So now I'm thinking that this area definitely needs to be a roundabout. So let's just see if we can move this over to meet up with that. There we go. We can mess with the rest later when we want to. And then that can go into there. This is obviously going to turn around the other way. And let's use the roundabout mods. Here we go. A nice little two-lane road. Two-lane highway. Two-lane road will be fine. Let's pick it this way. Um, This one. There we go. That'll be good. That's two-lane road with parking. No parking. Excellent. And then... Oh, wow. That is far too big. Let's go back to there. And I reckon about that size should be fine. It's going to be busy. But we've also got good access to the highway. So I'm thinking we'll be okay. I'm thinking we'll be okay. So let's just set that up. Traffic manager, control, shift, left click. All the dedicated lanes and things that we need. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's set that up right. Control, shift, click. Yeah, we'll go with that. And actually, now I'm looking at it, I really want that to be a three lane, not a two lane. No parking. So let's just upgrade that. There we go. Excellent. Yep, that'll work fine. So I'm looking at this area here and thinking, if I was a farmer, where would I like to live? I mean, we've got the entrance, which is sort of going to be down here. Very noisy, very noisy, very noisy over here. But then as we come around here, we've got this nice secluded little spot here. Look at this. I mean, this is prime land up here, so something else is going to be built up here. But I reckon just along here would be perfect for the little farmhouse. Um, in anticipation of doing something with this area, uh, let's just pop a road in. So how wide would that be? So we could probably just about fit some houses either side in there. Uh, let's go like that and then that could sort of come up here and curve around um i'm thinking sort of like this maybe down there curve around a bit maybe something like that is what i'm thinking let's upgrade that last little bit and then we could have something over there but the farmer definitely could inhabit this spot here and i think you know as a reward why not because this guy and his family has lived in the middle, where are we, over here, of this industrial estate for so long. It's been so noisy. So this is the test. Can I move my farm main building over here <laughs> and not cause any problems to the zone area? Let us take a look. Click. Yay, green tea, fields, farm. We are still at three stars. Fantastic. Um, and then around that house... Uh, where are we? I completely lost myself. We set up a little bit of an area. So let's just see if we can grab all of this and take it with us. Do you know what? That is not too shabby. We've pretty much got the whole thing set up as it was before you're gonna let me select some of these things and move them that'd be whoa that'd be great let's try that again we'll take that end and that end thank you very much we'll put that fence up to there that is not too bad he's got a lovely view a few extra trees out there excellent 
Okay, so rather than just move all the items over that we had there before, let's use some of these larger ones. So we've got medium crop fields, which we can now use because we do need to increase our crop production. Um, what's that going to give us? 8,000 units per week. We've got small fruit field, medium fruit field, also 8,000 units per week. So we could get going with those and see what we could fit in here. We haven't unlocked the large ones yet. So, okay, let's see what we can do. Right, okay, so I've set this up with absolutely no thought at all to traffic, apart from the... Ra I say that, no, I've done myself an injustice there. We've got some roundabouts in here. I do have one-way roads coming in and out of this area, which we may adjust slightly. Um, let us just quickly do this. Control, left click there. Control, left click there. Um, I think I only want this turning right. I don't want that going left. So I'm going to do that. They can go around the roundabout and back again. That's okay. Cutting across there. And I also want that to be give way. I may change that and give them access on here instead of out there. We'll see how it goes. And then we've got the same down here. We'll do control left click there and there. We'll do give way here. And I only want those turning right they can go up to the roundabout and back again all oh, power is an issue let's have a quick look yep it's not connecting up over here okay what i've been using i've probably shown you this before under the disaster services if you've got it the earthquake sensor uh jumps power only costs what is it like 43 a week not really much of a problem i'm going to pop that on there to connect those together I'll put one up there. It's not enough. Okay, let's delete that and maybe put a couple. Just to save, you know, I don't want to run all the wires across the place. That one there and that one there. Excellent. And then we want one to jump across here. If I just pop one there. Excellent. There we go. So that should get all of this running. Got a nice little area with the barracks down here. Oh, excellent. We've reached level four. Fantastic. 
that didn't take very long did it so there's some cool other items we can add in let's just check it's all working yeah i'm liking the look of this area plus i've left plenty of space for the new items and we have to move some things around so if we go back to our old farm area which is here all of this is going to go but we do have in here a couple of flour mills which are making the flour for us um, i don't really want everybody to be coming all the way over here for that and we have the bakery which is taking animal products crops and flour so let us move our flour mills over here first every time i go over the hillside here i get lost <laughs> here we go so i'm thinking maybe this sort of area here just backing off of that road there could take those okay that's fit our two flour mills in there then we want some storage for the flour if we just take one of our small warehouses would that fit over the back there yes it will that should be good. So we're going to pop that. I'll leave it on balance for now until I've got my head around what's going on. So that's good in there. Excellent. And then if we come back over the hill and not get lost, here we go. Excellent. So now we've got our bakery as well. So that's going to take our crops and our flour. That's not too big. So we could probably just squeeze that in over here somewhere. If I could move all this around and have a road coming up there. Okay, let's just pop it there for now. Oh, actually, that fits okay, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe let's do that. Um, let's just move it over ever so slightly. Yeah, that'll be good. So that's going to make our pastries. And then ideally, I would like a buffer sort of storage next to that. I bet these are going to be huge. Oh, my goodness me. That is huge. Okay, let's take one of these small ones. There we go. That's good. So we're going to have that for unique factory products. And we'll have that on empty. So it's just a buffer. They'll put them in there. Then they'll send them out as and when they need them. Okay, items are getting made and taken around. So these are all making all of our crops. So we should be now making so many crops. Still importing some, but that will sort of change over time. These will be making our animal products once they get their crops. And then these are going to take the crops to make the flour. And these will take the animal products, the flour and the crops to make the stuff in the bakery our pastries what else have we got over here that really needs to be moved so that's just warehouses filled with stuff that's our buffer i think that's about it other than all of these producing the crops so let me just remove some of these and see what we got left all the sheep where do all the sheep go we'll never know Okay, that's everything. All we've got left over here is a nice big stockpile of animal products and flour. So let's just see if we can do something with those. Just so we don't lose all of those items. Um, let's pop one in over here. Yep, there we go. Get a load of flour. And then we'll pop our other one. <laughs> I'm immediately lost again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> animal products. It's like I'm moving in a straight line and my brain just goes, no, no idea where you are. I'm completely lost. That's just going to go there for now. Let's just... <laughs> oh, dear. Biff is bright. Yeah, some days. Some days, my brain. Okay, let's just move these down here. Of course, I've got snapping on, so it's all going to go hawky borky freaky deaky. Let's go that up to there. Uh, move it mod off. Can I move that into here? Ooh, no. If I went a bit further... Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do with this road. Is we'll go down there like this. Then we'll get the move it mod again. We'll move that up to here. And I bet I can snap it on the side there. Let's have a go. Grab that. Yeah, it's perfect. We'll do that. That buffers up to there. Then we we'll just grab this. Just shimmy that along. So these two don't connect, but that goes all the way around. Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
And barely a few minutes later, we've unlocked level five on Green Tea Fields Farm. I've done a few changes, we'll let you know. So the large fruit field, large crop field, the food factory, which is fantastic, large animal pasture, and the large grain silo. Um, so I've just sort of shifted around where our grain silos are in here. I've just moved some of them up here onto their own little road, uh, just to save all the traffic coming down here. Uh, let's have a look then. Um factories 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 so food factory what does that need animal products flour paper and plastic so that's going to be a lot of stuff i'm going to put that factory over with our other factories so not in this area here let's have a look at our large grain silo oh now that is more like it that is the sort of size i like uh where could we fit that in maybe one of those here on this side i also i mean most of these are all set to balance i've just sort of left them like that just to let the game work itself out uh what else have we got here the slaughterhouse is huge 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 this is going to help us get the animal product so why not let's pop that in somewhere i'm thinking that would be good if we could fit that up here so let's just grab that road there. I'm actually going to do some move it mod stuff first. Let's straighten that out. And in fact, we'll do it this way. We'll just lengthen that road. There we go. Set that the same height as that. Do a little bit of jiggery pokery around the back here. Let's do it this way. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And just sort of take a bit of that out. And then we'll do a quick smoothie smooth over the top. Yeah. That'll be good. Let's take out some trees that we're not going to need. And then we'll pop this slaughterhouse in there. And that will just fit almost perfectly. We've got this little bit here. So let's just take that back a touch. Smoothify that. There we go. Excellent. So they're going to come down there, drop it off, turn around and leave. What does that need? That just needs crops. And yeah, for the animal products, I'm just wondering whether we could just move one of these to the end. Oh, not enough room. Let's take the... Oh, <laughs> there we go. Let's take that over there. And let's just try that again. Whoops. There we go. Move. Excellent. Let's move that there. So it's got access to crops right next to it. Um, in fact, let's do it this way. If we move that over here, and then we're going to move... Oh, walking farmer. We're going to move this over. Can you go over one more? Yeah, and then we'll move this here. So that's on the right side for coming in. Take the crops, drop them off here. Make the animal products, which we've got plenty of storage for over here. Uh, it's on balance, so we are selling some. Uh, that's on balance that's on balance you yeah, know probably going to need another warehouse for animal products but we'll see how that goes but at the moment that's all working okay the things that does cause the problem is our sort of barns and storagey type things when they're right sort of next to each other so having this little separate area for those works well do you know what i'm going to put them here so they're not on the main road not causing problems let's move that up one and we can just keep our main road moving so we don't get hold ups like this but overall i think that's looking okay and by the way i've updated my unified ui for some reason steam hadn't updated me to the latest version and it was causing all sorts of problems so uh thank you to kian the mod makers helped me solve that problem Okay, I'm just going to put a load of this in here. I feel like it should be concrete. It's a lot of buildings and factories and warehouses and stuff. This bit here, I feel like I'd like to put some trees in. Okay, so I've added some services nearby. We didn't have any of those just to deal with this crime wave that's going on at the moment. As with all industry, the profit bounces around quite a lot. Um, I'll have a closer look to make sure we've got plenty of trucks and things taking all these items out. But what I want to do is just put on all these policies. Um, you can read on the screen there. If you pause it, you can see what they do. They all have bonuses. So I'm going to put all of those on and run the game for a while and just see whether our profit increases. And unbelievable, we're still importing, <laughs> I can't believe, from the outside crops. So 95 tonnes, output 58 tonnes. I mean, I'd, 
we've got so many crops going on over here but anyway it might just balance itself out after a while we'll see Right, so things are running well. Could do with a bit more detailing, but we're going to save that for a future episode. Just added some rubbish collection over here on the right to also help with this area. So now, now let's go back to our former farm area. Here we go. Look at all of this empty space. Immediately, I spot a couple of things that we need to deal with. You and you are going to be coming with me over here to the alien rock park area what is going on with our power are we just literally running out of power oh my goodness me okay oh we've got plenty of space let's up our budget a bit i know that's false economy but for now that will do mm -hmm. and water as well might as well do that one we obviously need to do a little bit more building Let's put it up to 15. Yeah, that'll be good. Excellent. So we'll deal with those rocks in a bit. I want to just have a look at the new factories that are now available to us. Let's clear out some of these trees. So now that we've got all of this extra space. There we go. Excellent. So what do we have? Uh, this one here. So now we have the food factory. We have the sneaker factory and the shipyard. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's going to go down the front at some point. Let's, oh man, this is a big old factory. Okay, so that road's going to go off of there for a start. That is going to go bang up against there. And then we've got the sneaker factory that goes the other way. I mean, that could literally go right next to there. So the input for that one's there and the input for this one's over here. And then we're going to need, let's have a look. I'm going to change this. Because I want a road coming up here. Yep, yeah, let's move that over a bit. Okay, well, that'll be fine. And then that's going to come around the back. And that's going to go there. And we're going to get some warehouses on here. So what does this one need? Animal products, flour, paper, and plastic. Uh, we're going to make sure we've got enough production for all of that. Um, what do we have that's stored around here? Let me just check. Okay, so there is lots of storage, but it's all over this side. So I don't really want the trucks traveling that far. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and fit as many of these as we can in here. Got some space there. Um, we'll have these ones coming off of this road. And we can actually fit an extra one in there. Excellent. And then I'm going to set each of these up to be filled with one of these products. Ah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. We don't need, because uh, the crops aren't going to be stored in one of these, are they? So let us go back to our farming. And we've got the large barn. Would that look out of place here? Yeah, I always don't like the fact that it's the barn that stores the crops. Or oh, it's going to be the silo. Do you know what? One of the large grain silos, I think, would fit in here okay. So let's delete that. Let's add in a large grain silo and we're going to put that on the field. And I think, um, so we've got petroleum, plastics, and I think this one was meant to be paper. And I think we've also got paper over here as well, flat. I think that is everything covered. Excellent. So that's probably going to take a while to come through and fill all of those up. And then those products can come over here to our large warehouse, which is set to empty to sell all of the things. And oh my goodness, I wonder how much more money that is all going to make us. We'll probably find out in a few moments. OK, 
Okay, so that's still churning away. We also have over here the clothing factory with a little bit of jiggery pokery. That will actually fit in here. So that's all going to go. That's going to go up against here. Excellent. And I think animal products, crops, plastics, we've got all of those items around here. So I'm really pleased with that. And then what we'll probably do is as we're losing these offices here, we'll add some more offices in in this area. If I go up the middle like that, that should be quite good. And then we'll just get some small offices in there. Was there a zone I had over the top? No, we'll just see what offices appear. That should be nice. Excellent. And then finally in this area, I didn't realise we didn't have the furniture factory yet. And that is just perfect for that spot there. Absolutely love it. Uh, let's add a little bit of parking down by the side of that one. In fact, I'm going to do that both sides like this. Excellent. Do we need some parking over here? No, that's all looking okay. And what does that need? Plain timber and paper. So I think we're just going to add in a little warehouse for the plain timber and call that good let's grab one of that one's quite big isn't it will that fit in there the other way no i don't want to redraw everything let's go for that one yep excellent so we'll set that one to fill pop some plain timber in there there we go and then we're also going to be producing furniture excellent Well, I'm really pleased how that worked out. Moving our farm area has taken it up to five stars. And I've just checked and it was making over 10 grand. As we know, that can fluctuate, but a profit. So that's fantastic. I think this area just looks amazing now. We can get all of our factories in, start pumping out those unique factory products. So there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and check out the next video on the screen as well. Have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.